Hello again. Today we're going to talk about the distinction between block and stream ciphers. Okay, so what does that mean? Most uh, symmetric encryption algorithms uh, can be classified as either stream ciphers or block ciphers. A stream cipher simply means you take each character as it comes in or each symbol as it comes in, encrypt it, and output it. Whereas a block cipher, you take a, a block of text, maybe 128 bits or some number of characters, you encrypt that as a total piece, and that's what you send out, right? So, uh, for example, a simple substitution cipher is clearly a stream cipher because you take each character individually, encrypt it, and that's the output. Whereas columnar transposition, for example, is a block cipher because you can't encrypt each symbol as it comes in. You have to collect the entire block or the entire matrix to read down the, you remember you, you write your text in rows and then read down the columns. Um, most modern symmetric encryption algorithms are block ciphers, and they typically specify the block size in an, as a number of bits. For example, DES has a 64-bit block, and AES has a 128-bit block, and so on. Okay, so the advantages and disadvantages of block ciphers and stream ciphers are sort of the inverse of one another. So for a stream cipher, for example, as you might guess, uh, it's pretty fast because you just have to look at a single character, uh, encrypt it or decrypt it, and then send it out. Uh, you have low error propagation because each, the encryption or decryption of each character doesn't depend upon the context, typically. And so you don't have to worry if you make a mistake in one character that it's going to affect subsequent characters. The disadvantages are kind of the flip side of that. You have low diffusion because each character is uh, encrypted individually, and so all the information from that character remains sort of in place in the ciphertext. Uh, and you have a susceptibility to insertions or modifications. For example, uh, if, if, you, if your attacker caught onto this scheme, then they could stick some characters in if they could figure out the, the encryption scheme uh, and change the meaning of your message, and you might not even be able to notice that. Okay, so for block encryption, it's sort of the flip side of all that you have much higher diffusion because typically, you know, one character within a block will affect the encryption of all of the other characters within the block. You have an immunity to tampering for the same reason. A change in one character is going to probably mess up the entire block, and so uh, any modification would be visible. But the disadvantages then are it tends to be slower because you have to read in an entire block of text before you can encrypt it or decrypt it, and you have error propagation issues. If you make an error in one symbol, it's going to affect the entire block. Okay, a related topic is the notion of malleability. Malleability is considered to be a bad thing for an encryption algorithm. What's the idea? It means that you can make changes to the ciphertext in a way that will have predictable effects upon the plain text. So for example, imagine you've got a simple substitution algorithm and your attacker can figure out that these three characters represent the characters N-O-T, the word not, in your text. Well, they can just extract that, you know, pull that out of the text and push everything together, and you're not even going to notice that there was a change. You're not going to have any corruption in the plain text when you decrypt this, but maybe the meaning of the message has changed entirely. And that's what malleability is about. Most modern block structured encryption algorithms are non-malleable in a very strong sense. Uh, typically for AES, for example, every bit in the ciphertext affects every bit in the plain text and vice versa. So if you change one bit in the ciphertext, it's liable to entirely garble the result if you try to decrypt that block. Okay, so what have we said? We said there's this important distinction to be made between stream and block ciphers. Uh, and each of them has its distinctive strengths and weaknesses. Uh, and then malleability is something that you probably don't want. And that's the ability to change the ciphertext in a way that will make predictable changes in the plain text. Thanks.